it's official and once again Takashi 69 is back with some new trolling and a new song Zaza. After going ghost on social media for a while, 6ix9ine's name pretty much disappeared from conversation, but now it's back and all it took was one short video of trolling and a new song to have his name back in everybody's mouths. As always, this stirs up the rap game and has everyone voicing their opinions. Many other rappers seem to always have something to say, and that's why 6ix9ine is able to get the attention he wants from them so easily. He keeps them mad, and this is what causes them to react every single time. It never fails, and we will be showing you that in today's video. Before we dive in, make sure to leave a like on this video if you're a fan of 6ix9ine, and if you heard his new song Zaza, let me know your opinion on it. Also, if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck. Starting off with Meek Mill. Now, it's been a few months since 6 ix 9s name has been brought up by anyone. After he disappeared, like I said, he went ghost on all media for a while. He wasn't trolling, he wasn't releasing any new music, and he just basically disappeared for reasons unknown, maybe just to take a little break. But that is over either way because he has finally jumped back in and he put his name back in the mix out of nowhere. And the thing is, is he does it so effortlessly, all due to his perfected scheme. Just like the many times before, he used the same tactic of promotion that he does every single time, and that is by getting his name back trending in the media by stirring the pot with some rapper. And this time, his rap target was once again Meek Mill. His way of doing that was by waiting for Meek Mill outside of a club with his security. He started drama with his camera out to post it on social media. I'm sure you've seen the video. And then, a couple days later, he drops his new song Zaza. If you haven't caught on to this pattern by now, then I don't know what to tell you because it's so repetitive. 6ix9ine fuels his career off of the drama he creates and it works every single time. The altercation with Meek Mill was just a tactic just to get his name back out and back talked about. It got the people mass talking about him once again and that bring all the attention to his new song which is why it already has 19 million views in the first day. You can hate 6 9 all you want, but you have to give him some credit because his tactics of getting under rapper skin to cause reactions never fails, and there never seems to be a lack of attention when 6 9s name is involved. Meek Mill honestly did nothing to 6 9 in the live altercation, but then he decided to speak his thoughts about it via Twitter, saying the things that he's been saying. They've been back and forth at each other for a long time now, 6 9 and Meek Mill, and to be honest, 6 9 gets the best of him every time it seems like. This time was a very bad look for Meek Mill, in my opinion. After all of the threats and comments made towards 6ix9ine and all of the gangster lyrics he raps about, he was face to face with him and did absolutely nothing. Regardless of security that they both had and the camera on him, Meek Mill made way too many promised threats to not back anything up. This just gives Takashi another dub, which he capitalized on even more after he posted that confrontation video in the middle of his new Zaza music video. This is just a huge L for Meek Mill, but he did have some backup after another rapper jumped in and voiced their opinion. Benny the Butcher, he went and he was speaking out against 6 9 and anyone else who was hyping it up. After he tweeted that the snitch rapper is trying to get people caught up and you guys think that's cool. He was going at 6 9 but he also was kind of on Meek's side, basically saying what's he supposed to do when the camera is on him. He took Meek's side on that, but another rapper jumped in and had to voice their opinion and that was Jack Boy. He has something different to say after he spoke out against 6 9 with the threats, saying that if 6 9 would have tried him, he would have a charge and he would be in jail. Another rapper that's been saying the same thing as that is 600 Breezy, saying that he is not Meek Mill. He's been on Instagram Live with 6 9 telling him that he's going to die. They're going back and forth. He just has every rapper already jumping in and speaking his name once again. Even the, even the rappers that aren't even talked about no more, like Riff Raff, Riff Raff wanted to jump in with an effort to maybe spark his career by calling out 6 9 and challenging him to a boxing match. No one really paid attention, but you could just see how much reaction 6 9 gets and he's only been back in the media for a couple days. Whatever the reason is that rappers continue to feed into 6 9s drama, which is what he's trying to get them to do, one thing that is for sure, and that is that 6 9 is able to create chaos and stir up the game so easily. No matter what anyone says, 
he just presses it and he has zero chill. If you know 6ix9ine, even when he's winning and he starts his drama, he still has to press every situation way too far. He goes as far as possible and like usual, he took things too far once again. This time was after he started making comments about dead friends and dead cousins, etc. These were aimed at some other rappers, Meek Mill as well as Lil Durk, with the assumptions that he was referring to King Von in some of these comments, which in a recent Instagram Live video was confirmed when he just went straight disrespectful. It did have Lil Reesey jumping on the live, 600 Breezy jumping on the live, they're all just making the same threats over and over, and he is just stirring up the rap game and getting everybody mad once again it seems like no one even cares about his music his music does get a lot of attention but it seems like everyone just wants to speak against his drama and trolling and just go back and forth with him and it is true that it's still a dangerous thing that he's doing but either way it goes no matter what he seems to do or say no one has been able to shut him up or make good on any of their threats towards him i have been for years just hearing threat after threat and 6 9 has been just taking it to the next level, calling them out, saying anything he can, the most disrespectful thing, and still no one has touched him or done anything. Rappers call him a snitch, make threats, trash his music and lyrics, say anything they can to make people hate him, but 6 9 somehow always seems to end up on top. One rapper, Little Zay Ozama, says the only way to put a stop to him is by ignoring him. Clearly, that doesn't seem like a possible option because no one can control themselves when it comes to giving him the attention he asked for. With all of this coming out so fast, who knows what L69 has planned in the near future. We will have to wait and see how things unfold, but right now, it looks like he's officially back, online, trolling, dropping new music. We can only assume that things are going to continue to escalate and drama will be flooding the media. And with that being said, I am going to end the video here. I do want to know your opinion on all of this recent 6 9 activity. Are you rocking with 6 9 or are you praying for the day that someone finally gets to him? Because I actually want to know how many people are still on his side because he has taken things to the most disrespectful level you can and I just want to know what people think of him. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Also, let me know what you thought of his new song Zaza and make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Mixed Ice Media, see you in the next one.